<laughs> All right, so um, I, I did let Russ know I did have something else if you guys wanted it. Um, I, <laughs> I had an amazing night here a couple weeks ago, and I've come up here many a time before talking to you about all sorts of different things. Uh, the first time I came up here, I told you just about the day I had before I came to open stage for the first time. I've come up here and I've told you ghost stories that I think did go on a little bit too long. Um, I've come up here and talked about my little brother, and I have heard those of you who have been hounding me about it, when I do write his biography, it will be called, Don't Forget You Can Stand. Sorry, everyone that wasn't here that day. It's an inside joke, but I, if you ask me about it, I'll explain it. It's a good story. Um, and it, Russ even let me come up here and talk about rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> <laughs> but this amazing night I had, it actually started here. And it's great that I had one of these stories that started here. But it was one of those nights that I didn't get home till like maybe 5 a.m. maybe. I'm real sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> so Monday, yeah, um, and I would totally try to just try to describe how it felt from memory, but luckily for you guys, I kind of wrote it down, <laughs> and when I say like I wrote it down, I mean like I got home at five, I went to bed at seven, because I needed to write this down right away, so I just felt like sharing this with you guys, it's called Renewal. Lead, the weight of my body dragging me down. The radio sings as I fly across the dark streets. A scene played a thousand times before, the hour just before dawn, the flow of morning workers off to start the day while I still cling to the thread of yesterday. But unlike the norm, my mind pulses with energy. Every street light bright, the greens and reds far more colorful than they had ever been before. Thoughts clear, focused, and attuned. Detail beyond my reckoning, bombarding my senses beyond any recent experience. My form, weak and fatigued, longing for the rest that the end of the road will bring. But my being awakened, fresh and alive. Home is but the destination of my carnal needs, petty muscles crying for lack of sleep. But the desire of my soul screams to go back. But to go back would be futile. The night is nearly over, and the, companion, the, co the company I yearn for has petty muscles of her own. Oh, to not need rest, to just let my mind invigorate my body into a state of perpetual renewal. But no, the rest must come, the time must tick by, and the reality of parted ways must lay in conscious mind. Not a permanent latitude, but still the dwelling I must now take. Oh, to rip the whole and time of space apart to be rejoined sooner. The steps of seconds far too small, leaps and bounds I demand, and every moment apart is a moment wasted. To take the slower path is my torture, retribution from God of time, Cronus. His wheel turns slower just for me. Jealousy of the favor shown to me this night. Anger that one so beautiful was led through fate and will of Aphrodite to come and sit with me, to converse and connect until the birds themselves chased us away. Hathor, herself beyond compare, blessed this night of life and laughter, demanded it bear fruit, and growth of the sweetest fruit it did bring. Still I taste her name on my lips. Bacchus has no dish at his table as delicious now bitter any wine he would seek to offer me. To punish me, Kronos, do it as you will, but I will suffer gladly with the knowledge that I have found resurrection of soul and mind. If Sisyphus was granted this gift given me, his boulder would breach the gates of Olympus themselves and never again be fated to watch it tumble back down from whence it came. So arrive at my destination, I must. Rest I shall let my body have. And though I cannot will the future to arrive sooner, with my dreams I shall possibly, hopefully, if the gods will it, sneak a glance. Thank you.